Alright there, welcome to this video. This is a uh, bit of a quick one, or a plan for it to be a quick one anyway. Uh, this here, as some of you will know, is my 1U low power PFSense firewall router box. A little slim ITX build. Uh, these here are some fans I've recently bought. These are Noctua fans, some of the best that you can get really. Premium quality fans. It's the NF A4X10. It's the FLX series. And these are 40mm fans. So they're actually for in the front of this case here. And they are really quiet. And just generally really good fans. I mean I've got Noctua fans in my two other computers. Because of how quiet they are. And they do a really good job. I mean they're expensive but if you want something to be quiet and cool well they do the job brilliantly so anyway I bought these to put into this little slim PFSense server box here because this is actually living underneath my bed at the moment until it's relocated and I need to make it quieter at the moment it's got a pair of Sunon 40mm fans in they are running at 5 volts but they aren't moving a lot of air and the system's running at about 30 degrees C they used to run at 12 volts and that was about 14 degrees C was average temperature for it then that was awfully loud to put it one way so I ended up bolting them down but they're not moving enough air to keep the box as cool as I'd like it to be like I can feel it warm to the touch it used to be cold when I was running it so I'm just going to quickly unbox one of these you get quite a large package for the size of the fan of course look at that there these are the rubber anti-vibration mounts for them this shows you a bit of the uh, full acceleration channels and the, the all the design work that they put into these you also get quite a lot of additional extra things like a 30 centimeter extension cable, a low noise adapter which will down bolt the fan and make it even quieter than it normally is a 3 to 2 pin adapter which is this one here an omni join adapter set four fan screws and four anti vibration mounts now I'll just show you around the back it's got another door here with more information in if you want to read all that you can pause the video and go ahead but yeah, I'm going to get this out because I need to put these in quickly. So there we go. Yep, there's a, a book in there. Well, for a fan, I don't really think you need to use a manual. It shows you a few of the installations and using the adapter set. Maybe if you need to use the adapter set, these will come in handy for you. But anyway, I don't need none of that. So here's the fan itself, just pop this open, that is it, that's your fan. This here is the extension power cable, for if you need a longer cable on the fan. This is the 3 to 2 pin adapter, so that's a 3 pin fan plug into a 2 pin power type plug. We've also got here the low noise adapter which you just plug in line with the fan and it reduces the voltage that the fan gets to slow it down you get some silver fan screws you get this uh, omni join adapter set as they call it which has got some like jelly terminal jelly crimp things and a connector so you can join that to an existing cable or whatever depending on what you put in these fans in because these could go in a variety of things including network switches, uh, freeview, DVR recorders, things like that. These are your anti-vibration mounts and that's everything that comes with it. So I'm going to quickly unbox the other one as well and then we'll get to put them in here. Okay so I've got here the two fans out of the packaging. Now I need to put them into the PFSense system. Now my only problem doing this is that I cannot turn this system off because this is the router firewall load balancer. It's got two WANs coming in and one LAN connection going out. 
it's doing pretty much everything and if this goes off everyone and thing loses connection in the building and every server goes offline that's running through this so I'm just going to open it up and we're going to do this while she's live hopefully I can set the front panel off without too much messing around I can't remember how it mounts on this chassis as I built this about two years ago now maybe a bit more so there's the top lid off and now you can see the guts of the system um, these are the two sun on fans that are currently in here I don't know if I can tip this up a bit for you to see them better yep you can see the green labels there and they are just connected to this Molex connection on the motherboard which is power output and just connected to the 5 volt side on there so I need to well I'm going to plug these back in for now and I need to work out how exactly I get this front panel off now I can feel screws down the side I'm going to I'm going to take some screws out and try and get the front off quickly but before I do that just let me check the cable lengths I think I should be okay without the extension cables but if the fans are going there we should just about reach to here which are both CPU fan headers so if I plug in there the fans running not too noisy alright so these are going to go in the front here and as you can see the cables are long enough so that's a good thing I'm going to uh, get the front panel off then I can change these out alright so that should be the front loose and it is okay I need to give that a quick brush over there was uh, four screws along the bottom two in each side and the two that hold the ears as well onto the case so I'm going to brush this off quickly and dust out the existing pair of fans that are there you can see okay so I have got the fans out uh, it's completely fanless at the moment which isn't really a good thing but it can't get that hot surely in this space of time now next job is to put these to one side and I'm going to drop the Noctua fans in I think I'm going to have to put both of the power cables out of the top of these oh they've got dust on them already like that and run them that way straight to the motherboard headers and I don't need to use any extenders or out the less cable length I can have in here the better because this is tricky to work in as it is with it being such a small case I'm going to try and mount them using the low noise uh, thingies that are provided so I'm going to go ahead and get some of them now and see what the success rate is like it actually looks like I'm going to have to scrap using these uh, anti-vibration things because if you look at the grooves on them my hands covered in dust uh, if you look at the grooves on them the first little groove here is for the case and then the second bigger groove would be where the fan would go so that means they have to go in this way but to go in this way it just won't work because of the chassis being in the way and how close the threads are to the edge I mean you can already see marks where the other screws have gone in there so I think I'm gonna have to use the old screw method and just screw them straight into the case but that shouldn't be too much of a problem because they have got these sort of rubber mounts on the corners here which should dampen them a little so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and screw these in okay the fans now installed and you can hear them or not they are quite a lot quieter than those were but what I have had to do is put in the low noise adapters you can see here so they're stuffed kind of down the side here and then they joined the because they were a little bit too loud for my liking so I toned them down a touch just let me plug one in directly so you can hear that so this is just one of them going on full power you can hear that's a bit louder now not greatly but a bit louder I'd rather run them a bit, qui a bit slower and have them quieter so that's what I'm going to do so there we go the low noise adapters are installed and the fans are installed. 
I can't move the unit too much with it being on, but you can see there the fans are going. They are moving a fair amount of air, they're moving more than the other fans were moving. And making probably about the same amount of noise as they were at 5 volts. So it's really a temperature test now, just to see what happens. So I'm going to put the lid on, and uh, have a see what the temperature's set at. It's actually been on for a, about a week since I put these fans in. Right now it's sitting at 29 degrees C, which I am okay with. The box is cooler to the touch on the outside, and I'm overall happy with them. I was hoping they would reduce it to about 25 degrees C, but they haven't. But it's not the end of the world. Before we were in loss sort of 35 degrees C or more, so it's an improvement nonetheless. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Leave a comment if you've got any questions about the fans, the PS Sense box or anything. Also check out my channel, or in the corner, up here, for the link to watch me building it. And subscribe for more random tech videos. Thanks for watching.